Hey guys, it's Homeboy, the one way Great Dane. Uh, let me just make sure everything's set up quick, because I don't have a lot of time. Low sour. Uh, so let me just get into the game quick. Again, I just... I, I can't... I don't have the heart to delay this again. Um, let's see. This is the Pop Goes stream. I'm just gonna pick up next week. So this game contains flashing lights and rapid animations. I think you're susceptible to a seizure. I don't think so. For theorists, uh, this only takes the first three Five Nights at Freddy's games into account. So for those of you that know Five Nights at Freddy's, I'm a bit flustered, but I'm doing pretty well. Thank you, Sour. <clears throat> so the series is also being rebooted, which is a great reason to play these games in general. So this is Pop Goes. So I don't think the audio is too loud. Let me just go in the settings. You guys can tell me quick. So this is how I have the volume set right now. So if you're going from game to my voice, do you think this is just right, too quiet, or too loud? Also, you should notice that the time in between me responding and you seeing the stream should be down pretty much by 10 seconds right because I've been working hard to improve that also from what I've heard this game is hello sans bad time welcome to the stream from what I've heard, this game is apparently pretty difficult. So, to you guys, does the audio sound alright in the game? Is it too loud or too quiet? Because one of the things I really appreciate so far in this game is that it actually has a volume slider, so... I'm probably just going to jump right into it, but you feel free to tell me if it's too loud or quiet, and I'll switch it. Okay, we've got an interesting animation. It's very hard, okay, thank you, <laughs> it's bedtime. I'll give it all she's go okay, wow. Do I get a tutorial? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, thank you. Adios. Not too loud, not too quiet, hopefully. Turn it up on my end. Welcome to the Pop Goes Pizzeria, the next generation of kids' entertainment. <laughs> as you already know, you'll be guarding this place until six in the morning. And as your boss, I'm obliged to help you understand your job and the tools you'll be allowed to use during the shift. So, first things first. I've got to be honest, your current setup might not be very optimal, so to say. You don't I say. Have time to prepare a designated room for you in the location, so you'll just have to manage with using one of the internet cafe monitors near the stage, next to the gang. Don't start complaining just yet, I set a nice spot near the window for you. Even brought a fan. <laughs> this is anyway, so weird. The you have in your hand. It's usually used by kids during the day for games and whatnot, but I've sorted out a security application that only activates during the night, which is when you're here, obviously. Everything you'll ever need for your job is ready to use. Go on, press some buttons. You can check all the rooms with set cameras that are connected online. And what is this? What on earth? It's a lot to take in. And yes, I know there are a bunch of anthropomorphic plastic animals around you watching you work. Trust me when I say I know how that feels. Your imagination might get a tad bit out of control. Stress does that to you. But don't worry. You're completely safe here. <laughs> Like right now. <laughs> that tends to work for me at least. Right, back to the anthropomorphic animals. I'm sure you've already guessed by now that these are our animatronic characters. Top of the line technology. Honestly, the name animatronic doesn't do them justice. They're more like multi-purpose robots. They can be programmed to do 
anything I can think of. They pretty much run this place now. Of course, again, they are completely harmless. They aren't physically capable of hurting anybody. Made sure of that myself. Sure. I think I might be going on for too long. Last thing on the list. You may have noticed that this is a pre-recorded message, which means if you want to ask a question, you won't get an answer. Right. Hey, to fix that, I've given you some options. I stayed up all night to set up a simple Q&A system to go with your app. When this call ends, you will get three topics to choose from, and when you select one of them, another audio message of mine will play to help explain whatever you want to know more about. Quite nifty, right? Obviously, not quite really. as much freedom as a normal phone call, but it'll have to do for now. Well, that's it for your first night. Check those cameras and don't forget to take a breather once in a while, alright? Your three options should okay. now. Okay, what is the shutdown button? What are the robots capable of doing? And how is this place during the day? Well, these two don't really seem like they'd help that much, so I guess I'm gonna go with the first one. Yes, and it's bedtime, I'm assuming you have a pretty general idea. Ah, right. You want to learn more about your job, that's good. Well, as you might have noticed, you can reset any electronic or wireless connections in six of the pizzeria's rooms by using your phone's room shutdown button. I added this feature to your phone to ease the job of having to fix any tech-related problems that might crop up Ooh. during your shift. You know, so you don't have to go there and manually fix it. So if you see the printers going awry or something, just push that button and wait a few seconds for all the systems to go back online. Bear in mind, technical faults almost never happen here, so I really doubt you'll need to use it that much. Oh, and don't worry about breaking any machinery or something. They'll just go back to doing their normal activities once the shutting down procedure is complete, which is about 5 to 10 seconds long. Alright, well, that's your first night. I'll do the same thing for you tomorrow. You know what to do? Good night, kid. What <laughs> you I'm sorry, what? If Pop goes, enters a room, don't let him use the third printer. Oh, 3D printer. Pop goes doesn't kill you directly, but he does something that might kill you. If you panic, just stare at the window. Yeah, I panicked really hard, apparently. <laughs> like, really hard. Okay, um, if I hang up, will it still give me the options? So let me, first, let me find out where the window even, oh wow, where the window even is. Oh, there they are, okay. They really are watching me, huh? Oh, is this the window? So, the right side, okay. Oh, like, okay, he he doesn't give me those questions. I mean, I, I could probably, I didn't even know this was a room. I can probably figure it out. Yeah, why is there a weird bird with the sign <laughs> that makes me go insane? My panic is already going up. I haven't even done anything. Yeah, that wow, that window really, really brings down the panic. <laughs> doesn't it, huh? Okay, um... So let's see. I know how to deal with panicking. Okay, he's by the printer. What do I... Is it one of these funny buttons? Is this thing? Is it this thing? I don't even know if that is Pop Goes. These cameras are terrible. He... Okay, he has a leg. What do I do about that? Shut down room. Oh, that's right. Look, look behind me. What's behind me? <laughs> why, why? What's already? Oh, boy. Okay. Um. So if I see him by the printer, I shut down the room. Is that, I, I think, anyway. Yeah, this game is very flumpty like it kind of just shoves a lot at you on the first night huh at least that panic goes down real fast that's nice is he printing now is is that 
Is that right? <laughs> I'm guessing you can only shut down so much at a time. Is there, is there a point to looking behind me all the way? That takes quite a bit of time. <laughs> I, I'm assuming there's a lot. There's, let me see. So there's panic. There's this button. There's shutting down the rooms. There's a vent camera. There's a bunch of funny colored buttons. There's this, which I don't even know. <laughs> there's, yeah, there, there seems to be a lot here. I'm assuming if I see him, I just shut down the room, because I don't know what else I can do. Yeah, because he does go away. Right after. So, there doesn't seem to be anything in 9 or 10 as of now. Nine, ten, or seven, or four. Why do you think I only got past night two? Yeah, I don't know if it's just the fact that there really isn't that great of an explanation on what you're supposed to be doing, but. Now that you explain it a little, I think I understand what's going on here. Or at least for one animatronic. Yeah, because he's the only one moving right now. And to be fair, it is still only the first night. So the only things I can really do right now are... The table behind you is where Pop Goes does the thing that might kill you. <laughs> the table behind me. Oh, yeah, he put that weird thing there, the leg. That is concerning. So that does beg the question, though. Why is he building something behind me that can kill me when he could probably just do it himself? That, that's what I'm wondering. He's on the move. Oh yeah, he's definitely not too fast. I don't expect Night 1 to be crazy. But the guy definitely didn't make it very obvious. If I knew, I probably would have just kept the tape going so I could see what the other options were. So Pop Goes is a weasel. This is a badger, but... Yeah, Sans Bad Time, that reminds me of... Oh, yeah. I had to put together Bonnie, I think. Is that what he's trying to do? He's trying to get Bonnie to kill me? Or Shadow Bonnie? I think I should at least be able to complete this night. It's 3 a.m. already. This is a pretty general look at the game. Yeah, the black, the black rabbit, okay. I don't know if that's any different, because the guy was named Fritz, and I know that's connected to the FNAF lore. I think Fritz was at the second FNAF location, if I remember correctly. So he probably saw the bite of 87 or something. Or knew about it. Which is why he said some restaurants. Yeah, that one animatronic with the signs is definitely kind of creepy. You know, it's unfortunate with all the other uh, 
FNAF fan games I've played, they never really gave me a panic window. <laughs> this one's kind of nice, huh? So thoughtful. I feel like I... Is it just me or can anyone else hear the faint sounds of moaning? <laughs> There's a warning at the start of Pop Goes if you want to try to figure out the lore. Yeah, so it's, I know it was only through the first three. Nothing else is canon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you put the two monkeys. I actually thought PWC was on my stream for a second. <laughs> That's about to... That's about to um, about to welcome PWC. Okay, my panic is getting high. It's about to welcome him. I was like, PWC, you never show up to these streams. Why would you be at one of these? PWC is a very sleepy, busy man, so I don't expect him to be at these streams. I'll probably see him in a little bit too. So, so if you guys don't know, I can't go past six fifteen because that's when Kevin Smack streams, and I really don't want to ruin his stream potential in fact I, I don't know if i can but i'll <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny sir i'll probably um if i can't leave a direct link to his stream i in the comment section i yeah i don't know pwc might not want to admit to it but he always seems very sleepy so i might not be able to leave a direct link to kevin smack stream but if not i'll just direct you towards it because that's probably where i'm gonna head out to when it hits 6:15. Because, honestly, I probably would enjoy that more than this. No offense to the game, just that and I don't want to take away his viewership. Uh, yeah, this, it's already 5 a.m., so one night in this takes about, <laughs> yeah, one, one night in this game takes, like, what, 15 minutes alone, so. And it's already this crazy, so. This one is gonna take me a while. Oh, yeah, okay, there it goes. My, whenever my panic hits yellow, things start getting a little funky. Mm. Those aren't good sounds. Oh, so, wow. Uh, the reverb. <laughs> oh, wait, no, shoot, that's right. Isn't there mini games? Oh, boy. Gotta get my left hand ready. <laughs> okay, what? Am I playing as, like, Dark Chica? What is this? Yeah, so I'm, I'm probably gonna end the stream after this first night, honestly, but... This is still really interesting. Well, I might not enjoy the gameplay directly of these games, I definitely enjoy the lore. It's always so interesting. Okay, so I have to go up. I don't think there's any secrets in these. At least not that I would know of. Stone the Crow? I didn't even know that was a character. Since I honestly didn't. Oh, it looks like I can really only just keep going up. Okay, now I have some choices. I guess I'll start left. It's a birthday. There's a sign. When I when I press space, it makes weird tapping sounds. I'm getting notifications for Kevin's stream about to start in 3 minutes too. Okay, so there's a sign, a per... Okay, when I press space on... Whoa. Who is that supposed to be? I don't know if there's an official... Oh, okay, um, maybe I wasted too much time... <laughs> this is getting super wacky. Um. 
I, I'm gonna try to follow the same path I just did, I guess. Is the sign missing? Is the hat missing? No, they're still there. I don't know if I want to... Yeah, when I press space in these rooms, there's weird sounds. What is that? Am I not allowed to go this way? What is happening? Oh, balloon boy, what did they do to you? Oh, God, what? The, it was the little, um... They said it didn't go anywhere past... Events to stop noises. It said it didn't go anywhere past FNAF 3, so... I know there is a little girl in the normal FNAF lore, but... It's like Cassie or something. But I don't know if that would apply to right, this Sega. game. Second night. Hope you've gotten used to your job by now, pressing buttons on a phone. Aww. You'll have trouble finding a job that actually requires you to be on one of those. Can I bonk his nose? Anyway, I, <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, oh I there it is. Now. Don't start slacking off. I'm paying attention. After your first week is done, I'll be doing a review of your progress to see if you are fit to continue or not. If you do your job especially well, I might even give you a bonus. Yeah, it's 614, sir. I'm just about to end it off. I know I haven't given you much to work Let me see if I can... Yeah, okay, um... <laughs> Escape literally just, um, ends it. So, before I end off this stream, I want to thank everyone who showed up for showing up. I'm sorry that it was late, and I'm also sorry that it only really went about 30 minutes. No, it's it's about the same for me, Sour. Um, so what I'm going to do as a quick constellation is I'm going to run over to Kevin's channel, and I'm going to shove the... <laughs> link for the video that's literally just about to air in one minute and i'm gonna put it in my description well not description in the chat i'm gonna shove it in my chat quick if it loads fast enough okay there we go back on here and it's gonna load any second now <laughs> and paste there we go. So you guys can click on that link and you can hop right on over to Kevin's stream and I will see you there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for smashing the like button. <laughs> thank you for subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you can actually see you when this stream went live. And as always, I will see you guys next week for the rest of the nights in this game. This is already starting out very interestingly and I have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm very